Hey there, basement dwellers! It's me, YouTube's favorite red-headed anarchist demon lady, Desdemona! Give it up for me! So, you, uh, wanna learn how to talk like me, huh? You know, I'll show you how to walk the walk and talk the talk just a little. Now, um, to the untrained ear, a lot of people might think that I sound exactly like Orwell. But, let me reveal a little bit of truth to you here. I'm gonna drop some truth bombs, reveal some truth nuggets here. I sound a lot different, like a hell of a lot different than Orwell does. And you know why? Well, here's the thing. First of all, the pitch of my voice. I vary it between going very low and going very high. I think it's funny. And sometimes I just stay right in the middle like this, where it almost sounds like I'm kind of yelling, but I'm not. But to sound like me, you've got to go way down here and way up here. You have to over-exaggerate your emotions. Also, don't forget to stretch out your words for comedic effect. Or sometimes you want the opposite effect, so you start talking really fast all of a sudden. See, I fluctuate between a mix of the two. Uh, that's how I best describe my voice, is constantly fluctuating, you see. Can also do some pauses in the middle of a sentence for suspense and comedic effect. Also... I am, like, literally the patron saint of filler words. Because, like, you know, filler words, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I sprinkle those in a lot, too. So, wanna, want me to give you a little example? All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Damn, Dante, that is a mighty fine rose you got there, because, like, you know, you are just, uh, you are the hottest demon in all of hell. Oh, um, hi, it's me, Berenice. I heard you wanted to, uh, talk like me, huh? Well... The easiest way to do it, I don't know if you've ever heard of a cartoon called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It's quite popular. Well, Orwell pretty much based my voice on the character of Fluttershy, but I get a little more expressive than Fluttershy. So if you're a My Little Pony fan, don't worry, you got this. And if you're not, well, it's okay. My voice is pretty easy to do too. So. You have to speak quietly. Now, you're not always going to whisper like this, but sometimes you have to. But my normal voice, it's a little bit louder than a whisper. You know that feeling you get in your throat in your voice box when you whisper? You have to speak loud enough so that you can be heard clearly like this but you still have to feel that vibration in your voice box. And you have to speak with a calm, gentle tone for all the dead animals around you, okay? You have to comfort them, not scare them. All right then, shall I provide you with an example? Shh, it's okay, it's okay, Griffin. Just tell me what you want to say. Okay? It's okay. You're safe here. I'm not going to hurt you. Nobody is going to hurt you. If you don't want me to talk, that's fine. I can just listen too. Hey, I know I haven't spoken a word in these videos, but I've kind of been in the background. It's me, Fortuna. Remember me? I haven't been around on the channel much because I've been doing things with my religion. Y yes, it is a religion, not a cult, despite what you hear, okay? And I've been doing things with Virgil as well. But I've heard that you want to imitate my voice for whatever purpose, so I shall show you how. 
you are to use the lowest possible registers that your voice can go. You are trying your best to maintain the same pitch and the same tone throughout your conversation. Do not go higher. Do not go lower. But sometimes there may be a need to go lower if you're trying to intimidate someone or if you're trying to show them your religious power. Maybe if you're transforming. Do you love me now, Virgil? Anyways, anyways. But that's all there is to it, really. You don't really have any emotion in your voice. You just try to keep it as consistent as possible. Okay, it seems you're ready for me to show you an example. Do not listen to these heretics. They are liars. They are fools. Only I can give you the true power and the true motivation to reach your full potential. Come with me. Come with me into the light. Come with me into the truth. Come with me into a better world for all of us. Oh, hi! Yes, I know I haven't been allowed to be on this channel ever since <laughs> that video, but I'm just doing this because all the other girls are doing it. If you don't know me, my name is Jezebel, and you aren't allowed to see what I look like yet. But that's okay, that's okay. You may perhaps recognize me from a video on the topic of a game called Devil May Cry 4, where at the end I may have said some things that may have made Orwell upset. But you know what's the one thing I did say, and the one thing that really sticks with people? I think I'm gonna kill Kyrie. <laughs> So, you want to learn how to imitate this strange shifting voice? Then be my guest. I'd say my voice is kind of like a mix of Desdemona's and Berenice's, but I go a lot higher than the both of them. That's just how my voice works. That's just how I was built. <laughs> you are supposed to act like you find the cheer, the joy, the optimism in everything, even death. <laughs> of course, you know, if you're taking out a rival for your boyfriend, then of course you are warranted to be more than happy. You are supposed to be overjoyed at what you're doing. Because who wouldn't be, in my situation at least? My voice is what some consider to be baby-like or childlike. And rest assured, I am an adult, I swear. This is just how I speak. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, you kind of have to add little giggles in between your sentences. <laughs> Sometimes, at least, don't do it too much or <laughs> it'll get annoying for some people. So, yes, this is me, this is Jezebel, this is how I speak. Oh, you want an example, do you? Do you? <laughs> uh, well, let's get right to it, shall we? Oh, poor, poor little Nero. You're still so sad about losing Curie. <laughs> Wait until you hear what I've done to- Ooh! Oh, 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 I was not supposed to say that. That did not come out the way I want to. Oh, please forgive me. I was thinking about something else. I have a lot of things on my mind. I'm a very busy girl, don't you know? <laughs> Anyways, uh, what did you come to talk to me about? Oh, the, uh, the tea I prepared for you, Nero. What's that you say? It's got a strange taste to it. Let me take a sip. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just normal. It's just in your head, silly. Come on, go back to bed. I'll tuck you in. Oh, hey. Looks like I'm last to speak, huh? Hi. It's Mars, the... I don't know what I am because my creator can't make up her mind. 
one day I'm an angel, then I'm just a regular nun, then I'm a harpy, then I'm a mermaid, then I'm a goddess, then I'm an angel again, then I'm a demon. I don't know what I am. So typically, my voice remains fairly emotionless, but depending on my current situation, as decided by my creator, I might sound a little bit different. I can be in a state of indifference or a state of pure, pure rage. And that's about all there is to it. You know, some say in old legend that I have the voice of a siren, and that is what I used to seduce Kratos. But I won't share that with you now. No one must know. I don't think I need to provide you with an example. I think this is good enough. This is me. This is Mars. Enjoy me this way, because you're probably not going to see me this way for a long, long time. Keep that long haul up. Whew.